What's up everyone, it's Andrea aka Dragonblaze and today we have another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, the Nuzlocke version. So, um, the last time I think we saved a Diglett and the Diglett was like kidnapped by a Skarmory because Skarmory did not like any digging through the ground while she was sleeping. So, um, yeah, cranky old lady, but we did beat her, we thundershocked the crap out of her. So, um, today we're going to try and uh, get our friend. Um, I think Magnemite or something, we're going to get him a, a friend area. Um, at least that's all I know from this game because I haven't really played this game in a long while because um, I've played this game when I was a kid. And um, I'm replaying it, so I don't really know everything on the top of my head. But I know that we're going to get a friend area for Magnemite here. Um, friends are my treasures. Welcome to Weekly Tough's Club, a circle of friends. Oh, hmm, is this your first visit here? Oh, I get it. You saw the rescue team too, didn't you? You've come to the right place. I saw friend areas to add members to your rescue team. Since you're here for the first time, I'll give you the two friend areas for free. Okay, so we're going to get two friend areas for free, um, as it is um, all the time in this game. I don't think that they're actually... Are they randomized? I do not think so. I don't think that they're randomized, actually. Uh, now you can recruit Pokemon that live in these two friend areas. How do you recruit new members? Well, if you're fighting Pokemon that live in a friend area, sometimes they will come to admire you as a friend. In that case, they may ask to join your team. Just keep on trying, man. If you're giving friend areas away, can you also give my friends access to the power plant friend area? I also want to join the rescue team. Okay, gotcha. Why not? I'm giving it away today as well. Okay, so here we are. At this point, we also have the friend area for our Magnemite. So now the Magnemite can join us because um, last episode they couldn't join us because we didn't have the friend area. Which is some, um, which has changed in uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, Darkness and Time because uh, you just have Chimeco there and she is like, Oh yeah, you, you want a new Pokemon? Oh well, you don't need a friend area. She, they, uh, they all come to me, so it's all cool. Congratulations, you can now go to the power plant. Yes, now I can join their team, yay! Alright then, so now we have Magnemite in our team. Nice! Sorry, I know my friend turned down your offer to join your team yesterday, but after mulling it over all last night, my friend developed an overwhelming desire to become your teammate. I apologize, but could you allow my friend to join your rescue team? Oh wow, well, um, don't forget we were the ones that asked your friend to join us, so yes, that'll be awesome, glad to have your friend on board. Alright, good on you. Do your best and try not to hinder your rescue teammates. Yeah, I'll do my best. Alright then, so we got Magnemite in our team. So, um, the nickname that I'm going to give him has been given to me by, um, uh, Sergeant of Dogs and his CTC, if I am correct. Yeah, CTC, that's it. Okay, let's go. CTC it is. I'll be resting up in the power plant friend area. If you want me along for a rescue, come, at, come and get me at the power plant. Okay, see you later. Okay, so now we got Magnemite, which is awesome. You can go to your friend areas by taking the left path from your rescue team base. There's a sign on the path to the left of your rescue team base, so you shouldn't have any problems finding it. That's all the giveaways for today. If you want more friend areas, you have to buy them. Okay, so um, we need money these days to actually get what we want, like usual. So uh, we, we have uh, 1,012 Pokey. That should be fine. Huh, what's going on over there? Hmm, there seems to be a commotion. Let's see. All kinds of grass types. Please, help my friend. Please, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. But, but, but my friend needs a gust of wind, please. No, oh, come on. You shitty fucking... Oh, help me. Uh, hi, what's going on? Uh, uh that scene there. Mm, a jumpless me rang for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. Like, really. Uh, see that guy? Uh, that shifter over there. Oh my god, that motherfucker over there has been lying all around the place. Look at his pointy ass nose. Um, there, uh, the one in the middle with the pointy nose. Yeah, he... His, he's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. And uh, he got his own little Nuzleaf buddies there. Um, but his team's greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Jumps must be begging for help, but meh, I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Nobody wants to help that little shit. Wait. Oh, what, what do you want? Oh, who are the fuck are you? Oh my gosh, it's Alexam. Oh, is that like Alexam? What is that like Alexam? What's that Alexam doing here? Okay, it's Alexam. Oh, okay, then Alexam. Hey, I'm um, rather cold hearted, aren't you? To save John Plough's friend, a strong wind is needed. Your leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. It's an easy matter for you. Help the Pokemon out, will ya? Uh, who the fuck do you think you are? Uh, nigga, I don't care about you. Uh, okay, we'll do it. Bye. 
Alright then, so they're going to do the job for John Bluff. Hey, John Bluff's friend is going to be helped. Um, but who is it actually? Wow, oh yeah, this shift agreed with any argument. Oh my god, oh my god, oh shit, that, that, that exam, oh my god, he must have focus blast or something because otherwise that that uh, shift shouldn't have been really scared. But oh well, whatever. Uh, wait a minute. Focus blast isn't even a thing in this generation. Scrub. Uh, say, who are they? But what? You don't know? It's Alex Sam's team! What the hell? What? You don't know about them? They're the most famous registered team around these parts, my nigga! Okay, so, look at him. That's Charizard. His uh, flame door can melt mountains. And by the way, his mixtape is Fire by it. Um, that's Tyranitar. He takes pride, he takes great pride, by the way, in his armored body and amazing strength. And then we also have Alex Sam over there, the leader. Alex Sam doesn't like physical attacks. Not, like, not at all. Like, literally, I think he has, like, base 30 defense or something. Like, just use a knockoff and then he will fucking die. He fights with his psychic powers though he's a magic man he's endowed with an amazing brain and an IQ of 5,000 apparently he memorized everything that happened in the world Alexander does all the commanding in the team he's clearly in charge of course uh, thank you no need for thanks it is only natural that you get help if anyone turns you down again come see me take care oh cool kakui oh, I would expect less from a god rank rescue team oh my god oh what what what's wrong? What's up? Hmm. It's fine. Nothing. Let's go. Alrighty then. That was weird. Yeah, but that was scary. She. <laughs> cool. Whoa, Andrew. Uh, we need to become like them. Let's rescue. Uh, let's recruit. Let's recruit more members and make our rescue team first class. Ha! <laughs> Not if I can help it. That was weird. What is that Gengar doing there? What the heck? Oh my god. Okay, so um, it's a new day. It's a brand new day. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to rescue someone again. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning. And we have a Pelipper. Hurry up. There we go. Easy. Okay, so let's see what we actually get. Oh, okay. We get a... I was O-Code. Uh, no, wait. I was KO'd. Oh, whoops. Um, I was attacked when I was sitting still. Hello? That is not really... That, that's not how you fight. You don't attack someone when someone is sitting still. That is not how you... That's not how the rules are. Hello? Bitch, please. Come on. You don't attack someone while you're sitting still. Huh, that's not how you... That's not how it works, man. You attack them when they actually want to fight. Um, let's see. What kind of jobs are there? Um... Ooh, one for... With a revive receipt as a uh, reward, but... Um, no, okay. Uh, that's the only one with the Reviver Seeds as reward. And I really want Reviver Seeds, actually. That is the only thing that I want in life. I want Reviver Seeds all around the place. I want Reviver Seeds up the wazoo. And, um, yeah. So, every single job that actually gives us a Reviver Seed, I will, um, get that one. Because I want to stay alive. Stay alive. And I really, really don't want to die in this uh, playthrough. Because, um, Nuzlocke. Because, um... Otherwise, we have lost. And I really, really, really want to discover more. I really want to do more in this game. Um, take, and let's see what kind of items we can... Act okay, we're, we're probably not going to take jack crap. Um, let's see. I think we have enough orange berries. And we have a ginseng. Um, what, what does that do? Um, info. Blah, 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 blah. It's cell material. Okay, there we go. So, guys, if you ever get a Gingseng, sell it because it doesn't really do a lot. Um, it only does something for your set moves. But if you don't like set moves like me, because um, set moves are like they're useful but also pretty annoying IMO because you have to um, have your uh, moves like linked and it consumes your t um, your PP, which I don't like. I really don't like your PP Gingseng be con uh, consumed like other like other than that you can i guess you can have like a crap ton of max uh, elixirs with you but uh no that's not how i roll that's not how i lose control um wait a minute oh shit i did not even <laughs> I didn't even accept those jobs let's go take job take job um let's see information we get a cherry berry as reward oh well thank you so much for the cherry berry um, we're elect- Oh yeah, wait! We can actually get paralyzed in this generation! Okay, never mind, you know what? That's not that bad. But I never bring all those items with me anyway, so... Pfft, whatever. Um, wow, we're right at the entrance? Are you kidding? Wow. Oh my god! Oh yeah, that's true! Wait a minute, it, I guess Magnemite is a special encounter because... 
we we didn't technically like we didn't like recruit him at the dungeon so he's a special encounter awesome and we can actually get this Puchian on our team if he wants to join us because guys if you uh, forgot the rules of the Nuzlocke the Pokemon that um the first Pokemon that joins us in the dungeon is going to be our only option that we can get in the whole entire dungeon or it has to be a dupe and okay wait is there a job here is there a job um no 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 three okay at um dungeon floor three we have to uh, get someone an kid okay but that oh what's good you though my nigga Elicate. um there Okay, so we actually found Elegate immediately. That was easy. What's up, Elegate? What's up, dude? What's up? Okay, go away. Um, okay, so that was awesome. We saved him. I think it's so funny and easy that you can just, like, you just walk up to them. And you're like, yo, what's up? And they're like, hey, what's up? And then you just send them right to the place where you want them to uh, be sent to. I think it's like uh, the Pelopro Post Office because you meet them there right after you um, you saved them. Yeah, because in Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, you, you, um, because I know the dialogue, it's, oh shit, j d d d d no, please, please, let me attack him, let me attack, I want a Nidoran in my team, can I have, fuck, I cannot, wait, can, can I even have a Nidoran here? Yeah, 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 I, no, I can't, wow, uh, Redita, Voto, and Puchiana. Oh well, um, let's see, wow, you have metal sound? Okay, that is not useful at all and totally worthless. Um, I don't really like uh, status moves like that, maybe growl because it hits multiple opponents, but other than that, no. Okay, let's go to the next floor. If we cannot really recruit anyone, I think I'm going back into this dungeon, I'm going to see if I can get someone because I really want to uh, get myself a, a new team member in this place. And, oh my god, wow! Wait, that's going to be our third electric type in the team. But it's whatever. Hey, we got Elekid now. Awesome. And wait, is it male or female? Oh my god, it doesn't even say that. That's so stupid. Now I don't know. Okay, so I guess I can call it everything I wanna. Um, but I'm going to call it after um one of uh, my peeps. No, it's not really one of my peeps, but it's some um, it's someone that I know, and I'm going to call him Parahax. Okay, so Parahax, I hope you're happy. I'm going to call this uh, Elikid after you. So there we go. We have Parahax Elikid over here. What's up, Parahax? What's up? Okay, so we got Parahax, uh, the Elikid, in our team right now, which is awesome. Which It is our third electric type, though, which is... Eh, because our team gets absolutely annihilated by um, magnitude slash earthquake, but the moves aren't really that super duper common, so I guess I'm not that, that big in a disadvantage, but still our whole entire team right now is, no wait, like our, like most of our team is like weak to electric type, which isn't that great, but the other Pokemon does resist it, which is awesome, but um, yeah, it's still a big problem. Oh, uh, wait. If I wave my arms in circles... To, um, I wave my arms in circles to lose electric... Uh, oh, yeah! Oh, my God! I forgot... Ab oh, my God, guys. Okay, so um, I was looking up information about Latios the other day. Because um, something... A, a secret project is coming up. Um, and I looked at its dialogue from Mystery Dungeon. And its dialogue from Mystery Dungeon is the most corniest shit of your life. It is pretty much... When it is like... Uh, 100% HP, it says, um, I, I think it says, let the power of flight make your dreams come true, like, it's completely random, like, it's such a corny thing to say, it's something that you would say in an anime, like, the, like you know, that one anime for, like, you, you know, young kids, who, like, I don't know, I, I don't even know, it's something corny that they would have there, but I I just thought it was really funny, there there were also some other stuff, if I if I ever remember it, I will link it in the description, and you guys can, or I make a print screen, you guys can like, see like the corny uh, quotes that Latios has in this game, uh, because it's, uh, they're funny, um, let's see, so do, oh, no, you got a revival seed from you, um, should we speed up through this point, meh, what does it matter? Okay, 100 Pokey. Okay, nice. The Cherry Berry. Nice. And those were all the jobs. Okay, so let's go and continue on. Is there going to be more sleeping and uh, more dreams coming up? No, okay. So I think we can just continue on. Ah, I think I'm not going to continue on actually because... Um, oh, you actually woke up to me. I think something special is about to happen. 
I knew it! Because Draco wasn't standing in front of me when I already came out of my house. He was like walking up to me. I thought like, okay, this is something special. Um, is this the place where that team named D Blaze is based? Oh my god, the famous team D Oh. Oh, that's unexpected. There's nothing here. Depressing, isn't it? Yeah. Who'd run a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable! Such scrubs! Uh, who are you people? Oh, um, over there! Mailbox! Oh, look at that! Oh my god! Oh, look at that! Photo magazines! Oh my god! Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah! Check it out! No, wait a second! What, what, what do you think you're doing? Hello? Yes! Rescue job offers. Oh la la! Isn't that rather tasty? Oh, look at that! Oh, and my pocket magazines. Oh, look at all these kinky looking tricos. Oh, uh, we'll have them all. Stop! They, they, they weren't meant for. They were meant for us. Don't butt in. Yeah, it doesn't matter who does it. But a rescue team too. I'll have you know. But all we ever get up to is no good. Wanna know how it works? If we have to cover a rescue team, we can get away with so much more. We have our eyes on world domination! Look at me with my Jesse line. Wait, what was it Jesse that said uh, that said something about like world domination in the um um in their catchphrases? I don't know. What uh, what world domination? The you stupid f- <laughs> You're right, the Nappy Nation is going to take over! That's why we're ranking in the cash and adding to our gang! The world will be ours! The rescue team of evil! Team Meanies is who we are, aka the Nappy Nation! See you around! <laughs> no, wait a second! They- they took off! What an unbelievable bunch! Especially the fat guy. Oh no! Wait! No, no, it's empty! It fucking it's just fucked saying uh, they took everything. Oh, what's good you though? Manica Scarf God. Thanks. Well, look! Palopper delivered some mail. We can go on rescue missions again with this. But those guys! They never finish and goddamn them! They better not try anything if we see them again. Well then, um, so that was an interesting encounter. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, and uh, leave a like, leave that support out there if you wanna. If you wanna leave a comment down below. Um, if you wanna come for the comment question of the day, that is going to be awesome. If you wanna leave a like down below, that is really appreciated. Everything is appreciated from you guys. I love you guys, and uh, yeah, that's going to be all. Um, so hopefully uh, next episode we might uh, try and destroy the Nappy Nation or um, destroy the uh. Team Meanies, yeah, Team Meanies, so yeah, uh, with their leader Gengar, which is a uh, cocky bastard. And uh, let's just stand here next to my boy Trico. Come on, Rig. Come on. Okay, there. Okay, nice. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I uh, will see you guys later, and uh, bye-bye.